everyone, this is Hansover from Minpad. Today I want to show you our new design software. We have introduced our software before and recently we made some exciting new functions. Let's get started. Just put one finger to the touch ball and the software will open automatically. As you can see, uh, this, this ball is very big, simple and easy to use software and uh, it can buy with three parts floating toolbar, edge control, and uh, tour and resource areas. Let's, let's get started from our floating toolbar. This floating toolbar can be shrink, extend, and move anywhere you want. These toolbars can be customized. You can put most frequent use tools here and remove you don't want. And click OK, and they are here. This is the pen. Pen is the best function for the ball, and we have many, we have many pens for you to choose. And you just select the pen, and pen color, light types, and the thickness of the pen, and then you can write now. Today I'm gonna show you our our most exciting functions. That is handwriting recognition. Select the handwriting recognition and. Write down the character. The the software will change that it into the printing text very often. And you can also you can also click the eraser and fix to print. This is an annotation. You can annotate a now Google project and the desktop, a PPT, PDF, and such such as you can write that here and exist. Let's go back. This is the page control. You can add, add, add page, go to the previous and next page. And here is the page previews. And you can also select the colors and the backgrounds here. Now we go to the tour and resource areas. For, for resource, we have many resources for some subjects and, uh, and the background. And if you have bring some documents on your own at USB, you can also find them under the file. For menu, there is a file open, set, export, and print. And it can open and export many formats such as PPT, PDF, Word, Excel, and etc. Just we have PPT for example, just open the PPT. Zoom in, zoom out as you want, and also you can make some annotation here. Now we come to the tool. For tool, we have many tools waiting for you. Take screenshot for examples. You can select, you can take a screenshot of the entire screen, part of the screen, and even you can cut out some parts. Next, we go to the recorder. Just choose the full screen, part screen, and camera to record to the recording. And I take full screen for example. Select the select the location you want, and now it's recording. So right now I can write anything I want. And what I want to do is stop recording and click OK to automatically open the file. Next, we go to the video booth. And we can adjust the configuration here, low pace, zoom in, zoom in, zoom out. And uh, also you can make some annotation here and set them as you want. You may think what happens if I want to work at night in the classroom. At this moment, intersecting is a very cool thing for you and the operation is very easy. Just scan the QR code to download and make sure the Wi-Fi of your mobile phone and, uh, and the computer connect the same. And now you 
can scan the QR code through here and now it's collected. Uh, there are a lot of functions waiting for you. First, you can upload the pictures you take to the ball. And now you can make some annotation here. Second, you can make a, your mobile phone a movable document cameras. Sometimes some students' work is very awesome, so you can just go and, and show them to the whole classroom. Third, you can control the PPT through your mobile phone. Just slide, just slide left to go to the next page and slide left to go to the, go to the previous page and you can make some annotation here and also the spotlights and edit. Last, you can synchronize with your, with your computer and also your synchronize with your mobile phone. Just synchronize with your computer. Now, now you can control the PPT through your mobile phone and also spotlight and also and also you can synchronize with your mobile phone. Next, let's talk about screen screen. Just select the screen numbers. And each screen can be controlled independently, so teachers can ask students to to uh, to come here to answer the questions. Let's talk about cloud. With that, you can use Dropbox, Google, which Microsoft, and WeTransfer to do transfer the document. Just add your account and log in, and you can go and save anything you want. Now, current interface is very popular in the panel and smartphone presenter. However, some presenters still like Microsoft Windows mode, so here is the solution. Just click this button to switch to the Windows mode, and all the functions I mentioned is available in this mode.